Hey there, it's just me, Nero here, hanging out in the back of this van. I just wanted to remind you, this is a rated R podcast, so if you need to step away, you probably should, because we are hunting monsters after all. Hello, everybody. Uh, we can just kind of pick up where we left off. As the as we watch Vic and Jenny walk out from the alley and into the street, our vision fades to black and then fades in once again with the sound of a rumbling van. And the driver's seat sits Nero. And down a couple of blocks, you can see a group of people accumulating outside a tall three-story building with glass windows and shiny uh, it looks new, shiny metallic infrastructure. For those of us who are familiar with the world of Darkness's New York in this particular chronicle, it sits across the street on the corner of a club that was once extraordinarily popular. Its windows are boarded. The lights are off. The name of that club? Why don't we let Dot say it? <laughs> but it is shuttered, closed. And the only group of people where once would be in front of the succubus club is instead across the street in, in a large amount of confusion. As you can see, different bikes and cars parked and different people carrying pizza boxes are all huddling toward the front of this place. Nero has slapped like a sticker on the outside that also looks like a pizza van of her van to just cover or like, you know, one of those... Like a magnetic... Like magnetic things that goes on the top yeah, you probably so just that we nicked also one like, off of a car somewhere along the way. Yeah, and we just kind of blend in and pull up, but instead we take a back alley, you know, around the back uh, of the building. And Nero, of course, is going to set the security cams to like loop mm -hmm. on the ex, you know, on the exterior uh, cameras and stuff, so that we can pull in, hopefully without being noticed. I imagine as we see the van pull into the alleyway, you turn your headlights off as you roll in quietly, yep. and eventually shift into park and turn all necessary systems off. Didn't seem anybody paid much attention to you, and nor were you followed. We've got um, about two minutes before it is full chaos on the streets, and uh, that's our cover. So um, uh, I zip up like my jumpsuit so I look like, I don't know, a working van. I remove the magnetic thing off the top and uh, put on a hard hat or something and put some fake cones out so people don't come down here. It looks like we're doing work in the backside of this of this room. Um, and, of course, Father is dressed <laughs> to match because he's going with me down into the boiler room. I love it. Father has the addition of some dark glasses because he heard about the uh, the eye contact thing. And, well, he doesn't want that to happen again. So, yeah, he's wearing sunglasses at night. You see the two of them stand up as setting everything up. Jenny and Vic probably looking at their newfound guns. Scrubbed of serial numbers. Handful of bullets in each pocket. Hey, wait, Nero, Nero. Wait, wait a second. What? Turn, what? turn around, like leaning over the, the driver's seat since you've been kind of piloting the, the van the entire time. Turn around real quick. Uh, okay. And you'll feel like something, you'll see his arms and then something kind of drape over your neck and then he does a clasp on a necklace. What is it? When you look down, I imagine you see a kind of old silver necklace with a large discolored sunflower sat in the center of it. What's it for? I don't know, it just felt right. Wait, it's for me? No, it's for the other girl whose neck I put it around. <laughs> that's a joke, it right? Is. It is. It is a joke. Okay. You, okay, for me, wow, that's... I some, I like sunflowers. They're pretty and nice. I don't usually wear yellow, but I, it's okay. Wow. Um. <laughs> hey, calm, calm down. If you don't like it, you can just take it off. No, I like it. It's fine. Please don't take it. Yeah, oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, wow, this is, uh, go team, go, right? Is that, this is the time we say that? Nero, are you ready? Mm -hmm. I like scoop up Ada in one <laughs> arm and scoop up the MP in the you other. You hear the whirring know? and beeps of Ada as she's abruptly scooped from her table. Does uh, Father McGinnis, sorry, go ahead. 
guys, it's just nerves. <laughs> <laughs> Performance anxiety. It's been a couple weeks for her, just like Vic. <laughs> like a couple forever years. Um, it's fine. I'm fine. I'm really excited for this. Well, this is gonna. This is gonna go great. Is a father not of really what, Okay. All right. We'll wait. Meet you on the top floor. Um, based on the blueprints I might have pulled, where do we think? Oh, you might top be? floor, third floor. Um, but we all know. Uh, for whatever reason, vampires think the top floor is really cool. So, uh. Uh, that's where I'm sure you'll find him. We'll meet you uh, up there once everything's set. Um. Let's go. Okay. All right then, let's go. <laughs> go, t- go, go, team. Oh, oh, this is the time. Go, team. She go. put her hand in the middle. Do you see Nura like shove her hand down the center? And uh, does everybody pile on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then who says go, team? Go, go. One, two. Oh wait, go, oh, team, team, go. go. There was no excitement there. Try, I, like, can you can you do it? Can you do it Why again? Why are all of your hands so sweaty? <laughs> Sorry, the talc's missing. Can you, you can you fix that with your judgment? Okay. <laughs> I just hi, hyperhidrosis is something serious. You should really go see a doctor. I I put my gloves on. <laughs> The problem is you're so clammy, it's like hard to kind of pull them down. You're just so nervous. It's just a little, I'm not, I'm not nervous. You're nervous. Go, team, go. <laughs> oh boy. All right, here we go. And I van dam the <laughs> yeah, back doors open. You just hear the clang of the two back doors swing open. One bounces and slams back shut while the other one kind of waggles open. And Nero just scutters off with Father McGinnis being like, I should follow. <laughs> we'll see you later. Um, I- Okay, see you upstairs. Uh, and I run over to the door. The door? Uh, I imagine it's locked. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. As you make your way to the back door, before you turn the corner, you do see there is a little security camera on the back door, a little black ball. Uh, Nero takes the remote she's been using to, like, loop the security cam because she set kind of, like, a server to do mm-hmm. that, right? And she points at it before we're in view and, like, clicks, and so it captures and begins the repeat. Okay. So that we won't be seen. As that you, you kind of, we see you flip open and, and a few buttons are pressed. You, while you don't hear any audible recognition from the camera in front of you, the feedback is looping appropriately and you feel confident enough that that's good enough. Uh, okay, let's go. I will need a Dex Larceny check from whoever's trying to break open the door. And in the meantime, Jenny and Vic step out of the van and make their way toward the front. I think that went pretty well. What do you think? You think she responded? To the, to the necklace, all right? Oh, well, she very much likes you, but I'm really concerned that sh- she's going to have a heart attack if you do too much more. You might let her you know, cool down a little. I know it's been three weeks. You already told me. No, you don't I wasn't going to say again. that. I was just like, I'm trying to put some, some math, right? Like, so like when I've noticed that eight has been like really up in my shit, what I've been doing, the, as you call the stripogram thing. So like, that's, how did I not see that before? I don't know. She's got it as her screensaver, sweetheart. The fact that you didn't notice is just really, yeah. Wow. Oh, man. that. um... Why do you think I'm always looking over her shoulder? It's not because I understand anything else that happens on that computer. You send in a lot of of messages. All right. Yeah, like, I'm not... What it... I'm divorced, not blind, Vic. Okay? The, like, the writing's on the wall. Okay, and, like, I don't discriminate either. So, like, you... All right, look, I've let Nero. I've, I got to focus there. I got to. It's true. You didn't give me any necklace. It's just I'm. I'm saying like it's it's fine. Well, I mean, you didn't you didn't ask me to any like a uh, ten year reunion either. So I'm just saying. Well, my ten. Never mind. We aren't going to go into that. Um, we should probably focus on what's <laughs> happening. As you Today. round the corner from the alleyway, as Jenny kind of like, well, let's just pay attention to here. You actually hear uh, some guy bitching to the guy next to him. What the fuck orders? What is this? Like 50 fucking pizzas? And I brought all garlic. Three? And, and then the other guys, yeah, and I had to bring like five garlic pizzas. Oh, no shit. I had to bring three garlic pizzas. What the fuck is going? And then there's just like chaos as you, the two of you kind of make your way to the could, back of the crowd. Could we? dial it back just just a little bit and sure, maybe yeah. have like dressed appropriately to be delivering some pizzas and maybe oh, yeah. brought Nero some goes, empty wait, boxes. Wait. And tosses y'all hats. Perfect. Like matching pizza hats or whatever Amazing. to put on. And, and yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, don't forget You got an empty pizza box from a couple nights ago that you, you know, you had for food. And uh, yeah, absolutely. You have easy, easy disguises as you mingle with the rest and everybody's bitching. 
at the front, you see uh, a woman with a really tight bun with a, uh, clearly acting as security, being like, we are trying to figure out what caused the confusion. If everybody would just take a moment, we will take care of every one of you here and whoever needs to be in reimbursed will be reimbursed. Just step back. And uh, the pizza delivery people, while up in arms, are not violent, so they all step back a little bit, a little bit intimidated. Does she um, have a name tag on? As you get closer, you do see a Julia. Um, I'll kind of just into my elbow so that no one can actually tell it's me in the crowd. I'll go, her Julia was supposed to pay us. <laughs> can I please get uh, a manipulation performance roll? Sure. Two of the things that Jenny is most excellent at. That's going to be cool. I, That's going to well, be one suits. die. Midwestern mom <laughs> trying to start some shit. I love my it. My one die roll was a crit, though. So oh, that's, hey, that's okay. hey, hey. And so one person near you kind of picks up on it. Oh, is Julia supposed to pay? I'm gonna, hey, I'm gonna it? elbow Vic to try and get him to help me out here. Hey, who's that? Who's supposed, who's Julia is supposed to be paying us. Julia, and you see the yeah, security guard like kind of perk up. Receipt. Yeah, it, uh, Ju Julia! <laughs> feeding into it more, and it does start to pick up as, as the people up front realize Julia is the person in front of them. And she's like, hey, 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 I don't know what happened. Is some glitch in some systems, maybe something in that. Please back up, everybody, please back up. And while they're not pushing to get past her, they close the distance quite a bit where uh, you could make me a deck stealth check to sneak by in the busyness of it all. As you can see in the main lobby, there's still a handful of pizza deliverers who got through prior to the chaos breaking out in here, and they're having conversations on the inside as well. Five successes. All right, Vic. Um, would um, would access to to a particular <laughs> uh, discipline help me here? Uh, is it the sound one or yes, the sight one? It's the sound it's one. It's the sound one. Mm -hmm. In this situation, no, okay. I don't think so right. because it's too much noise already. They're probably not going to hear your footsteps over everything. With two successes, that's all I'm looking for okay. in this situation. Jenny easily slips by without anybody paying much attention to her, but Vic's a little bit bigger, a little bit more noticeable. And there is a moment where as you're walking by, someone says, hey, what about? And But he's quickly spoken over by a couple people behind him. Be like, hey, that's Julia right there. And Vic is able to kind of dip in. Uh, very quickly. As the two of you make your way in, we blur cut to the back of the building as both Nero and Father McGinnis stand up cursing at themselves because they can't get the lock picked. Um, okay, I'm gonna, I can do, I can willpower this. Oh, you want to willpower? I'm, you may willpower. Give me three more. Yeah. Um, Whoa, there you go. okay, All four. wow. Four successes, which is the number Perfect. I was looking for on that. And, uh, you hear Nero like sweating. She's like mumbling to herself. You see her kind of wipe her forehead with her with her forearm. And after a few more minutes, and she kind of slides the credit card in there with a bobby pin. You hear a large pop, and the door gives just enough where you're able to kind of grab it and pull it open a little bit. Where you're given <laughs> clear white walls and an extremely clear tile floor, though you don't see much beyond just the hallways. I still got it. <laughs> <clears throat> Slip, you both slip in? Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, straight down to wherever the boiler room and like server room. As you room. step in, there's an immediate staircase leading up on your left-hand side. And as you go around it and walk further down the hallway, eventually you do see a wooden door that's labeled uh, boiler access. And uh, as you walk up to the door, it is locked. Next larceny. In the meantime, up front, once you're inside, Vic and Jenny, where are you moving? Immediately trying to get toward the back? Uh, I think I think yeah I, I think that's kind of the plan is is to to go out of sight and move to the rear. Sure. That's where we're supposed to be meeting them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, one more death uh, stack, <laughs> Dex stealth check. Meanwhile, I imagine Father tries first again, gets frustrated, stands up, palms his Bible maybe for a second as Nero steps in, takes a knee, and much easier this time. The lock was not nearly as secure as the one from the outside. Unsurprisingly, you can pop that sucker open. Uh, with two successes and five successes, both Vic and Jenny are able to kind of sneak past one of the uh, one of the only private security in the lobby area, who's currently busy dealing with three of the five delivery people who are in here trying to deal with them. And while he may have caught you out of the corner of his eye, he never longingly gazed at you, and for the most part, seems to have ignored you. And you 
walk right past him, uh, he's maybe 10 feet away, to a door in the back room that swings open as one of the, uh, somebody who works back there kind of passes by and walks without even like looking up from their iPad, leaving the door just open enough where Jenny catches it and the two of you slip into the back hallways where that front noise from the hall on the streets mutes and dulls. And instead, you can only hear your footsteps. Eventually, you do hear probably Neuro around the corner uh, give like a <clears throat> yes of excitement as you turn that corner, see the stairway on your left, and them at the door all the way at the end. I give a thumbs up. She, as you turn around, she gives you a quiet thumbs up. As you can see, they're heading to a room that's just labeled boiler access. And as the door opens inward, you see stairs leading down to the basement. But we're going up, right? Yeah. Right. Yep, okay. there's stairs that lead up as well. So you may start. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I guess we go opposite directions and uh, I immediately step down kind of into the darkness. Maybe I turn on a headlamp because we're dressed like, you know, m- maintenance mm-hmm. or whatever. Um, I go, okay, Father, so here's the deal. Once all of the power goes out, um, technically the sprinkler system should run on its own. It's a, it's a safety measure. All you have to do is pull uh, the fire alarm uh, and the sprinkler should go off. After, of course, y- you've blessed it. Yes, I'm not entirely sure this will work, but I have faith in you. So, as well as the Lord above. So, Really? Of course. It's an excellent, I it's thought an excellent plan. Hey, thanks. I, yeah, I thought you kind of hated me because of the whole, you know, people died and moving money for vampires. I never hated you. Stuff. I always thought that you needed some help and some guidance, and I thought that could be me, and, well, we'll see. There's always room for atonement. You've, you've done most of that already, all by yourself. <laughs> Wow, atonement. Okay, between the necklace uh, and 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 your um, your kind words, Father, uh, I'm feeling a little nervous. Ooh. Well, um, okay, so um, uh, somewhere around here. So here's here's what I'm thinking. Um, um, here's a, here's a um, a, a thermos. Uh, it's full of water. Uh, if you bless this, and then we dump it that into also uh, becomes you know the blessed. Yes, I know the drill. Okay, great. You got the plan. Um, so, uh, start mm. praying. <laughs> Exor quito te creator aque nomine de patris omnipotentis e nomine de Jesus Christ e filio Jesus nomine nostri e blah 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 blah. And so he begins to pray and bless. And in turn, Nero, what are you going to be doing? I immediately leave him, hitting security cameras on the way, looping them, to try to go find these... I guess whatever the uh, the like server room for the building is, because that's where I'm going to end up setting the virus and the EMP. Give me a wits investigation, please, as you scurry up the stairs. Okay, that's actually not bad for me. At this point, Jenny and Vic, I need a deck stealth check as you make your way up to the second floor. I got a three. I thought I might know where. A yeah, no, room three is more than enough. Lie. On the first floor, toward the back, through a glass windowed room, you can see servers just lined. Uh, five and four? Four, correct. As you guys make your way up toward the second floor, you actually hear what seems to be muffled conversation. It's hard to hear the words exactly. And as you dip past the door, then if you want to look in to see just who's having conversation, do not bother. It may not mean anything. I'm just curious. Sure, if you'll, if you'll let me. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome to take a quick peek, both of you. If you do so, you s- yeah, please, Jenny. I would only really do it if I thought I heard... Uh, the kids, if I thought I heard. You definitely Jared didn't hear the kids. Uh, the voices you hear are definitely adults, though it's hard to, t- to discern who's who and who's saying what. Okay. However, Vic, as you look into the second story window uh, through the door, uh, halfway down the hall, you see a gentleman, uh, two gentlemen having a conversation, but one of them is very obviously Lawrence. Hmm. Um, man, do I. Do I say something here? Uh, could I leave this to a die roll and will you tell me what I should roll for this? A die roll to see if you tell Jenny? Yeah. This is, this is, um, it's a sketch sitch. Give me a, I would take a resolve composure. I know Bub wouldn't say anything, 
But does sure. Vic say something? Resolve composure. Can he keep his mouth shut? I would say you are maintain the ability to maybe, if he believes it better for now, keep his mouth shut. I'll hold it. I'll keep that one close to the, to, to the chest. <laughs> and so he doesn't say a word, and up the next flight of stairs you go. Nero, you're in the server room. The door was unlocked for some reason. Perhaps the security had to make their way out front rather quickly to deal with the pizza chaos. But you're on the inside. Okay. Uh, I immediately run over and I, like, you know, clamp the stuff that I need to clamp. And I begin the process of planting the virus, which would be on, like, a timed yeah. release. Um, and, and plant the EMP as well, which would be a, a triggered release on so the So first EMP intelligence the technology role as you make your way through their systems and implant a virus you spend all day and night working on. And I'll do um, the extra die for hacking. Perfect. Beautiful. Um, that's fine. Okay. Do you want to stick with that or do you want to use willpower? Um, did any of the prep that I did on the eight roll from last night help with that? Uh, I mean, if you, yeah, it would have given you another plus one to your pool. So if you want to throw one more plus one real quick before you make that decision. Yeah, I would just do that because I'm okay. running low on willpower. No, so I'll just stick, stick with, with the five. five for now. It takes you maybe five to ten minutes to fully set this thing up, to properly set its timer. How long do you want this thing to run? Before, it, um, before it goes I want off, the rather. timer to be roughly um, okay. So um, I need the virus to set. So I give the virus five okay. minutes because I know like it's going to take the father a bit, and I need Jenny and Vic to make it wherever they're sure. going, like all the way to the sure. top. Um, because the lights out is the next key. Mm -hmm. So or the Who has power the night vision out, goggles? So by the way, I think it's going to be Jenny and Vic. Okay. Probably. Who's wearing them, Jenny or Vic? Uh, probably going to give it to Jenny since she's got the gun. That's okay. that's my best best guess okay. here. Perfect. So you set the virus for five minutes. You set up the MP to go off. How much longer after that? Um, that's that's okay, on so me. You just so have as a, soon uh, as I know the five, yeah, I, I'll do the kill switch as soon as everybody's like in place because hopefully the sure. darkness will give them some cover. And then when the sprinkler system goes off, that will evacuate the building. And where do you make your way back down to the basement to the father? Uh, yeah, because Ada's yep. down there, and I I got plans. For so Ada. you make your way down the stairs. You, the, the Jenny and Vic, you make your way up the stairs. You're simply waiting for the moment. As you look through the door just to see, you see somebody standing in front of, uh, and as the closer you look, they seem to be wearing the same outfit as any of the personal security here. You see somebody standing outside of a door at the end of the hall. Arms are crossed, nobody near him, just patiently sitting there. You wait. Yeah. About five minutes before doof, 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 the lights go down and very quickly after sprinklers start spraying down on you emergency lights kick on and while Vic can see a little bit with the emergency lights it's more like low light vision if we were to compare it to something else it's hard to see him but you can see him you may take a penalty on a swing or two however but the lights are down sprinklers are going what do you do um, I don't. I don't think there's a lot of hesitation. Um, in the heat of the moment, you don't. You're not really afforded a lot of time. So he's he's going to kind of go into that that low run, like you're going to tackle someone, and okay. try to prevent him from from getting any, any kind of a response. Okay. Uh, as you as the door swings open without much of a conversation between uh, Jenny and Vic, does Jenny try to say anything? Does she follow quietly in tow? Um. Yeah, I think so. Since she has the night vision goggles, she's yep. she's gonna keep an eye on the situation. If it looks like at any point in time, um, Vic is in a spot, okay. um, she'll be prepped with a gun, but more so for like other people who might approach to try and detain him or something like that. Um, yeah. She doesn't want to fire it as, until it's a last resort because she doesn't want to let it. No, that's know totally she's here. fine. Yeah. As the door flies open and Vic gets in a crouch run and charges this man, he will have an opportunity to take one shot against you. As in, he's confused, but his attention is drawn. And though it's hard for him to see, and he too will take a penalty, uh, Jenny, you see him very quickly and almost reflexively pull a pistol from his holster and immediately level it and start taking shots. Now, if you're going to shoot at him, you also kind of operate in the same round. Ranged goes first. Uh, does Jenny re respond in kind and try and shoot this guy as well? I mean, if she's shooting at my stripper gram, then absolutely. He is. She's absolutely shooting at your stripper gram. He's going to take a penalty. Uh, you have no cover in the open here. Um, 
since it's really nothing to hide behind. But it's dark. It is, he's taking a penalty to his roll, for sure. Uh, remind me, does Vic get a defense roll anyway? If he's out in the open and being shot at? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Give me your dex athletics. I was about to say, he just doesn't get any yeah, benefit no of cover. Bonuses. All right, can I... Can I I'm, you know what? I'm willing to see where your mind goes with this. Can I utilize my specialty in parkour to kind of you, you, use this as the plus one bonus? I would let you have the plus one bonus in that. Um, okay. I'll take it. We'll see what happens. Would you like to reroll uh, three of those? You no, know, I, I think I would. And Jenny, you may make your, your shot. Oh, you had two more successes. Today. Oh, that's a crit, too. Oh, yeah, you absolutely crit. Beautiful. Five successes. So in a flash of an eye, as the door flies open and the, and the sprinkler system pours down, soaking Jenny's hair down to like to her skin, and Vic, you can see his clothes clinging to his body. He runs through, and you hear a, a couple of shots pop off as Vic instinctively tries to run a zigzag pattern, maybe even kicking out a small trash can to try and distract. And in the meanwhile, behind you, Vic, you hear almost simultaneously gunshots as well. As the, you hear bullets whizzing by you at a high, uh, a high whistle, you feel nothing hit you as you kind of uh, slam up against a wall and maybe use that with your foot to kick off to the other side. But Jenny, you watch as bullets hit your target, one in the leg and one in the gut, though you only see blood trickling from the leg. At this point, Vic, the hallway's not super long. It's not a huge building. You would get in close. But before we get to that, what are you doing in the basement, Nero and Father? You would hear uh, wits awareness, actually. Two of you. And then, yeah, you can tell me what you were doing. I only rolled one. Three. On three. Uh, Father McGinnis, you hear muffled gunshots. Uh, very, very, very distant. I get out my own gun. Sure. You pull the gun. Uh, Nero, and uh, Nero, what are you doing in this moment? Okay. Um, uh, go, go meet them. Um, do me a yeah. favor. Draw them to the windows. The front? The back? Mm -hmm. uh, any of them. The whole place you said was like window Yeah, it's cover, like a window right? building, like literally windows all around, yeah. like a business building. Just, it doesn't matter. You gotta let, uh, communicate with me on comms and let me know what floor you're on. Uh, I got an idea. Okay. I'll pull the van around. Uh, everybody be ready. A one. Um. Uh, I run out back and set off Ada yep. to, to take flight, and I run back to the van. Yep, and you can hear her taking off as Nero runs and closes herself off in the van, and Father takes up towards the stairs, making his way to the second floor on this round. Next round, uh, Vic, you're up close and personal, and Jenny, you could take shots. Is this guy still, like, is he, he's been shot twice, right? It's just one guy. Yeah, but you see only blood out of his leg. You don't see blood coming from his gut, where you clearly see a bullet tore through his clothing. Is, is his back to a wall? It's to a door. It's to a door. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, can I just momentum, like, charge and try to drive yeah. his head into the door? Just kind of, like, knock him yeah, out? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Yes, you may. Uh, you may make me a, a strength brawl. Got it. Anything specialty that you think would add to this or not? It's just a weight thing. So, Aikido, just I'm going for a selected movement here to try to take Honestly, it. Honestly, yeah, Aikido would add. Okay. That's a lot. It is a lot. Seven As successes. You, uh, does Jenny take shots before? Because it would yours would happen first because you're t technically ranged. Uh, no, she's going to having injured the the guard and seeing Vic do his Vic thing. Um, sure. She's gonna wait and just hope that they kind of crash through that door and she can <laughs> follow without being noticed because she's tiny. You watch as Vic collides his shoulder with this man's lower gut. He keels over ever so slightly, but with his right hand, he catches the dude's face and leans him back and back of his head first, collides with the wooden door. You hear the sh uh, cracking of wood as his little splinters fall outward. Um, and you just, with that push, fall with him, giving all your weight to it and finish kind of cracking and breaking that down door, uh, breaking down the door. And while it doesn't fully fall over, there's a giant hole now in the center with sharp wooden uh, pieces all over as uh, you tumble through. And what you're greeted with is a rather dark room, a big oaken table and some fancy art, but the windows themselves are entirely blacked out. As you move in, you can see standing behind the desk, a rather surprised looking individual He's got glasses uh, tucked on into the uh, collar of his shirt, 
a nice button down casual suit, a uh, very short, uh, well taken, clean care of haircut and um, a, a small five o'clock shadow. Would any of you recognize him? I, I no, specifically but asked. You, you would, uh, no, Nero would, and Nero would have given you his description. And so maybe a moment, moment of looking at him, you immediately recognize this man who is soaking wet. He has a pistol laying on the desk with his hand on it. And off to his left, about five feet away, stands another guard. But this guy, is uh, his gun, while pointed at you, isn't pulling the trigger. I think Jenny steps through the splintered door frame. As we see Vic pinning this man down. Pistol in one hand. And she's going to reach into her pocket and pull out a small device with the other as she kind of enters the room. As, uh, as you take that step in and duck under, and we hear kind of the sopping wet steps of yours on the, on the carpet in this office... It's at that point Father McGinnis would wheel around the corner and can see the scene in front of him. And at this point, Ada would be whirring on the outside of the windows. What floor? What floor? Third floor. Third. And I just, I just want to line yeah, yeah. it up. Just, just right there at the third floor. Jenny steps in. Father McGinnis, do you hurry up? Uh, do you, like, shout out to her? Or do you just kind of, like, walk and watch? Uh, I try and... Uh, run up to both Vic and Jenny and like subtly draw their attention to the window. So as you walk up, Jenny wouldn't be able to, she'd be eye to eye with this man, though Vic would be getting up from an uh, unconscious, maybe even dead individual. Oh, in that case, yeah, I, I pull Vic up from his feet and whisper in his ear, bring them to the windows. We'll use the light. Ugh, ugh. Impressive. How can I help you before I dispatch of you? I'm not going to give him an opportunity to say and or do things. Jenny is uh, currently one in front, however, so I'm curious if Jenny says anything or does anything. Yeah, so Jenny is going to kind of take a, a step deeper into the room closer to him. Sure. Um, gun facing the ceiling. Uh, not, sure, you're not like obviously like in like not threatening. Uh, yeah. As you're, you get closer, you can see uh, a cross sceptered pin pinned to his collar. You're Lucas, right? A well-informed cow. Good. How can I help you? I'm going to move right past that and kind of get to the meat of it. You know Lawrence, don't you? Uh, yes, he's one of my lawyers. If he's caused you problems, he's trying to say. kill you. That's an interesting claim for someone who seems to be the source of this breaking and entering and potential murder attempt. Well, that's sort of why we're here. I'm willing to hear you out. And he just sits down back in his chair and uh, pulls the gun from the table and keeps it on his lap. You and I have a common enemy. Lawrence has made my life a living hell. I want to do everything I can to repay that favor. Is that who put you up to this then? Lawrence hired a bunch of street thugs who think they know more than they do? Among others. He's not your only enemy. Surely you understand that. Yes, of course, but I'm not sure who would reach out to... And he just kind of looks at you. A bunch of blood bags to get their dirty work done. You can either take the information that you're being offered and help me in my particular journey, or we can all die right here, right now. It's your choice. She's going to raise her hand with a small black box in it. I imagine the only person who recognizes this for what it is is Neuro through the eyes of Ada. Through a very dark, dark window, nonetheless. Yeah, She knows what bombs look like. She's watched Jenny build them before. Yeah, Jenny was went behind your back and uh, built a bomb without telling you all. <laughs> um, uh, father, father, uh, there were no explosives planned for today's uh, uh, mission. Uh, what is what? Why is she holding a bomb? Why is Lucas, there a bomb? Those are your two options. He's, he puts his hands. He pulls his hands back and says, "I'm willing to listen to whatever deal you think you have. Please, the floor is yours. You have my attention. I'm willing." To not only take out Lawrence, but 
my friends here, and I can surely accommodate any other requests for vampires that you'd like removed throughout the city. But I need some of your power to make that happen. I want to make Lawrence suffer on his way out. All in the name of vengeance, you're willing to become my petty pawns. Just me. Nope, I... Ah. And what's to say when you've accomplished said vengeance in a month or two, after the lust of having accomplished it wears off, you don't turn on me and attempt to kill me next. I have no vendetta against you. So long as you don't harm my children. Beyond... Your own, I suppose, servitude, if that's the word you want to use. What is it you're looking to offer me? Your life. (laughs) Or unlife. Whatever you call it at this state. Suicidal. Yeah, I am. Those are the dangerous ones. Don't you want them on your side, then? And he gestures to the black box, and what is it exactly you're threatening me with, if I don't mind me asking questions? I don't know much about your kind, but I do know that flesh ceases to function when it's on fire, so that was what I went with. You put me into an interesting corner. It's as though if I don't take you in, I die, but if I do, I'm supposed to assume you'll remain loyal. How do I have a guarantee that you will? Don't you all have the ability to just tell people to do things? I mean, yes. Well, then there you go. So you offer yourself as what? A servant of the blood? Are you looking for something more than that? If my apologies, are you looking to enhance yourself ever so slightly but remain human? Or are you looking for something more? I want to rip him apart. You tell me what that looks like. I have never seen someone as audacious, ambitious, Reckless as you, the gangrel, would have a heyday with you. But the gangrel aren't exactly organized. (sighs) Take the offer or leave it, but make your decision, because they're going to kill you if I don't do something right now. And you're saying you can stop them if I go ahead with it? I'm saying I can try. It's a better chance than you'll have without me. Jimmy, why don't you go get me, uh, Lawrence? And there's a simple nod, and the man to his right walks by you without looking at any of you. First, Jenny, then Vic, and immediately after, Father McGinnis. I imagine if Father's here, here, what is going on? We're we're losing sunlight, and and, and he's supposed to die. We can't let him live. He's supposed to die. She has a bomb I... What do you want me to do? I don't, I, I, I don't know. This was a part of the plan. It Just wasn't. so you're aware, uh, removing Lawrence is, is going to be a hit. He's a good lawyer. If you know him that well, then you at least should know this. But what are your talents? What do you bring to the table while we wait for him to arrive? Well, not to put too fight a point on it, but... You look like the supervillain in a B-list movie, and I could walk into any establishment in New York and go completely unnoticed. I would think that that's probably a skill worth having. I I also helped Lawrence write most of his law briefs when I was married to him. If you're looking for the mind behind that brilliant lawyer, it's right here. You're Jenny. I thought you were dead. At least that's what he told me. He wishes. Now we have ourselves a soap opera. But you're right. You know, I have been looking at investing in the local education system around here. Seeding money where it's needed. Making sure the youth get the education they need. You might be a good go-between. How's that sound? Sure. You have yourself a deal. No, 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 he has to die. They're welcome to. No, no, do it. The deal is between you and I. 
now? Do it we now? We have no other options. Jenny kind of lowers her hand with the bomb in it and takes a couple steps toward Lucas. In Vic watches. And father watches. Did the two of you say anything or do anything? Uh, uh, this I was waiting to see if father was going to do anything. <laughs> father just kind of stumbles over, like, c- consorting with the the demons. Is, you're better than this, Jenny. I'm really not, father. I'm not. Uh, I'll sweeten the deal for you. Whoever put you on this funny little task, uh, in return, I'll make sure they forget you guys were even here. Money goes a long way. You could walk away. You could walk away. Then what good okay. would we have done? I've got, I've got my task. Um, I'm saying as Bub here, I've got my task. Um, this is a small room, I'm assuming. Mm, it's bigger than the rest. It's not like particularly tiny, but it's not a huge office. It's probably like double size of the normal offices in here. So we'll say 15 by 15 or so. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't want to be on the receiving end of a very, very upset Nosferatu. Um, so I got to keep a good thing going. Uh, and it's worked in the past, but this time even it means that I gotta go with him. I'm built to last. I'm Vic. I'm the tall drink. I'll go out the window with him. Jenny shoots at Vic. Please make me your dex firearms versus your dex athletics. I was about to say, uh, the moment I hear gunshots, uh, Ada's gonna open up on the window, hopefully spilling some. I love you, Bob. I'm so sorry. (laughs) I'll see. I've got it. I'm not. There's no. The twists aren't done yet. Don't worry. Athletics. I mean, I got a. I've got a shield. (laughs) I've got a. I've got a vampire shield, so that might help, I guess. (laughs) Uh, yeah, very small partial cover, I suppose. If you pull the body up to like. Try and absorb the shots. Oh, so six. 100%. I don't want his feet on the ground. So what does a partial cover give you? Let me look. Uh, I got three successes. 302. Uh, so she would take minus one success on what she rolled. Um, do you want to roll any, uh, do you want to roll any, uh, willpower, etc.? I, I did. Okay, so, okay, so with that, uh, the gun still does three, plus you take five damage. I take As f- a bullet, yeah, because the, the gun does base three, plus her extra successes over you, and the bullet would rip through your mid-gut, as blood spatters behind you. What does my Kevlar you. do? Oh, you have Kevlar, that's right. What does, a uh, Kevlar gives you a bonus of some sort. It's two, isn't it? It soaks two? Okay, I think it so you would two. take three. You would okay. take three damage, as the bullet would, would maybe still hit you in your either torso or lower leg, but it would certainly, uh, you'd feel the bullet go through. And you don't, you don't take Look, blunt, you still take normal damage. Sure. Once Vic takes a hit, you probably, father would hear Nero <laughs> scream, no! And she opens Ada up with the five Absolutely. on the window and, to, to and you spill hear. it in on the outside of the window the unfortunate surprise for the three here is the watch of bulletproof clack cracks all over the darkened windows oh, and as he looks quickly over mm. his shoulder and looks back well 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 how are we going to manage this and he just seems to now the question is what takes place next doesn't mean we break out into immediate violence Nero your father would probably tell you bulletproof glass like third floor and then Vic, you would stumble as Jenny holds a, a pistol up and actually shot you. Now here's a question: Is it fully bulletproof, or does it just take a few rounds the to break few, through? The it? few, you don't know. Uh, you simply the few rounds that hit don't work. Ugh. This is a man with money and influence. I am, and he knows his safety's importance. I am so sorry, Jenny. <laughs> I love this. The f- father is going to shoot you in the head. All right, you you take your your shot and you take your defense. Oh man, what is mine? It's Dex and Athletics. Dex Athletics. Okay. And you could give him a minus one if you take cover behind the desk, as it also would count as partial concealment. Uh, I don't think so. I think okay. uh, in this exact moment, 
Jenny is actually going to lunge toward Vic, sort of realizing what she just did. Mm-hmm. Um, and then probably get shot in the head. Oh, we'll see how he <laughs> This is the world of darkness, so that's how things it. happen here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, do you want to roll three I more? I absolutely do want to roll. power for me. Two successes. So a total of two versus her four. You, uh, She's able to, the bullets hit the desk as she quickly takes cover. You mean, um, who's closest? Is it uh, Vic or father? To who? To, to the, the, uh, the vampire. Who's closest father to the Father didn't really move very far. Okay, Vic, can you please make me an intelligence resolve check? Uh, I can try. Please. I got three successes. Do you want to re-roll two of those? Uh, you could potentially crit. You do have one crit on the table. Yeah, I don't have much willpower left. Yeah, we're at the end, though. Yeah, sure. Uh, I have five successes. Ooh, baby. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, was it crit? No. Oh, no. no. Oh, man, you're so fucking close. <laughs> yeah. He uh, so he looks NFL. you in the eye, and he's, he, he simply catches your eye as you stand up, and he says, clutch your wounds and go to a hospital. You need it. Okay. Does it, stop, does it stop my immediate directive of, of everything? Yeah, because it's, it's a non-violent, non-life-threatening com, uh, com, um, uh, command is what I'm looking for here. Okay, but uh, uh, I, that, that begs a question, right? I have, um, I have a bit of a disadvantage here uh, of adrenaline junkie. I pursue things at pretty much the ultimate. I know that there's a hospital down the street, and it's going to take me a long time to run down steps and take the elevator, especially with a million pizzas down there. Could I just theoretically, like, jump shark straight through that window? Yes, because you know, oh, well, no, because you you know as you look at the bullets, it's bulletproof. You're not necessarily going to be able to break through that. You're not going to get through it. So a window in an office nearby you could, and you would likely survive knowing how you, because you, you heal wounds like a vampire sure. does. So even though you're taking damage normally, you can heal them super fast. Yeah. So you would be able to, like, land. You might break a leg, but you'd probably be fine. Mm, okay. I guess then I just have to go until something... Something, so Vic something immediately tries me. walking, uh, tr- grabs his wound, turns, and Father, he's walking past you. Now you have an option. You can try and stop him like they stopped you on the street, which is going to take some time, or you can take another shot. I don't even think he, he looks at Jenny as Jenny's like moving to him. I don't even think he looks yeah. at her. Oh, fuck. Father's plan is to flick the switch on the incendiary device. What incendiary device? The one the that one Jenny that, made. The one that's in my hand? <laughs> So you're gonna shoot. Wait. You're gonna have to shoot it. It's a cold shot, like hitting a, a heart shot. Oh god! So no, I'm not gonna mi- shoot it. I'm gonna. Oh, you want to run up to it and like grab it from her? Uh. Is that what we're looking for? And what is Nero attempting to do next as well? While Vic walks away. All right. As soon as I realize that we got Vic, Vic is down, which is very upsetting, and this is bulletproof proof glass. You said this is new. <laughs> yeah, the building's relatively building. new. There wouldn't happen to be a large piece of machinery, say, I don't know, a um, a wrecking ball or something that I could... There's no wrecking ball nearby, Crash through. Crash through. Any kind um, of uh, large-scale machinery. Yeah, there's like a cement mixer over by the club that's been shut down across the street. Perfect. That's Are we gonna perfect. <laughs> you best believe it. Nero's going through the lobby, baby. Um, Nero's going yeah, in Nero's panic going mode, the lobby. and she. We watch like, as, they, as we get like we watch Vic run out the front door, and Father make a decision. It cuts, and we just see a a, a, a small girl <laughs> running across the street, <laughs> like hot yeah. wire it, you know. And, but uh, we cut back to the going. room where Father and Jenny are face to face, and the man behind the desk is just watching. Now the question is, what do the two of you do to each other? I shoot him. <laughs> okay, uh, take your shot. Now, the, do you just make me your dex athletics? Oh, God damn it. Um, can I use the desperation dice? Because I feel yes. like Jenny has now tell me flip. How, now tell me. Oh, yeah, 100%. Look, tell me she how has how one this goal in mind. Oh, I'm not saying any of you are acting out of character whatsoever. I am in love with this. How do you use your desperation for those who are new to the uh, Hunter rule set, since most people don't have their books yet? So, uh, for the faithful, I can use desperation dice while in direct conflict with the supernatural uh, while on the hunt. Uh, So, I think 
uh, this stems from his faith. This is a, a direct conflict against a supernatural foe. What do you need from me? Uh, extra dice. How many extra dice do I get? Up to what? It goes up to five? Uh, up to five, yeah. It's one and to the, five. And the more you get, the more dangerous the situation? Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. If I get ones on these, things just get worse. Basically. Well, I, uh, I would say this is a four situation <laughs> at this moment without Vic there. And Jenny, turn. Wow. I want to be there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the problem of being immortal. God, what are my oh, rolls today? Oh, 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 God. I just want to shoot a freaking thing. Oh, oh, I just want to shoot a... Oh, okay, man. good news is you only got one one out of all those failures. Oh. So and that's a plus. That so means what the danger goes up. The, yeah, yeah, the danger, the danger goes, situation goes, up. goes up. Somehow even higher. <laughs> Excellent. I had four successes to shoot him for what it's worth. Yeah, you, uh, oh god, okay, and you, uh, you, all right, you do, um, what is it, three, four, you did four successes? Mm -hmm. You take six. I die. (laughs) And uh, as you pull the trigger, and you watch the hammer fly back as as father's clearly making moves, Jenny, who's truly, never truly been trained with guns, levels the pistol, pulls the trigger, and we watch the brains of a priest spatter on the wall behind him. He tumbles forward, his empty Bible spilling before him, and his loaded gun still gripped in his hand. You hear a gentle clap from behind you, and it's at that moment you watch as through the door Lawrence is escorted. Maybe I did underestimate you, willing to kill a man of God. We had a deal. We did. (laughs) Nero. Uh, Vic, you jump out a window? Uh, I mean, there's a fire I'm escape a down fire one escape. of them. Um, yeah, there's definitely a fire escape. You find, you limp your way down onto the street, and you begin making your way toward a hospital. When Neuro pulls out the cement mixer, and Neuro, you see Vic limping down the street, away. Uh, uh, you. Okay, here's what here's oh here's what I do. This is all so. <laughs> bad knowing i'm overhearing out of the earpiece that falls out of father mcginnis's head uh her change her switch uh jenny's realizing that this this point or do you keep it in i mean at the very least i stopped listening to it ages ago so i probably like if i drop the gun and pull it out and just sort of toss it to the side um uh nero kind of uh she says who am I supposed to atone to now? Nobody's going to let me atone. And Ginny is not going down as a vampire. And I pluck the, uh, as I, I, I pull it out so I can spill gasoline along the way. Um, all along it, I set a brick or some piece of concrete or something uh, in the seat. And I'm going to send it through the front door, spilling gasoline. <laughs> See what you're trying to do And here. then I'm going after yeah, yeah, Vic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, all the innocent lives. I'm going to burn this place to the ground. And all the innocent lives of pizza people down on, downstairs. Um, my hope is that when the fire alarm went off, they would have evacuated sure. the building and backed everybody up because it would have automatically. That's true. That's the very fair. Department. So at this point, actually, the fire people would you could hear the sirens, but they're not there yet. Uh, you you ram this thing and you yep. make me a Dex Athletics as you jump out the driver's seat. Okay, that's gonna hurt. It's okay. Uh, it's gonna hurt everybody. This is gonna hurt. Two successes. <gasps> two successes. So we're gonna say dice. you leap out and you try. You tumble with the momentum. You're still gonna take two damage just from like mm, ah, uh, and just kind of hitting the ground. But you don't get a lip. You don't a limp. You don't break your bones. And as you were running after after Vic, who is limping his way down the street, you can hear the shattering of glass as the cement uh, as a cement mixer crashes through into the lobby behind you. Can I snatch a cigarette out of some pizza guy's face and toss it on the gasoline? Uh, Dex athletics as you quickly try to snatch something from somebody's face. You know that doesn't work, right? Uh, Just like from a scientific standpoint. I know it's going to look oh, cool. Does, but... a, does, a, does a regular lighter work? Can I put regular fire Maybe. on it? Maybe. You got to gotta keep in mind, too, the inside is pouring water down on top of it as well. 
I guess it's <laughs> so true. it's gonna be it doesn't matter i'm just i'm just looking for um this is more for bigger distraction because this all went to shit really yeah yeah fast. yeah sure. and so um, yeah you do yeah, you do so, your best you grab a lighter on the ground you maybe light a match on the yeah. ground and like huck it back fingers mm-hmm. crossed Toss but it. i'm assuming your focus is on vic yeah, and I start running after Vic. I'm like, Vic, Vic, get in the <laughs> Vic, van. you can hear, but you don't pay too much attention, and eventually Nero will catch up to you. But we hard cut back to the third floor, where the rumble of the building shakes, and you can hear the shattering of glass. And in that moment, Lawrence kind of lurches forward. It looks around the room, quickly realizes what, what is going on, and his eyes lock to you, Jenny. You say anything? You hear a pistol slid across the table from the man behind the desk. From Lucas. Jenny is going to pick up the pistol and take a couple shaky steps toward Lawrence. Um, And she raises the gun and points it directly square between his eyes. And then at the last minute, drops the shot, shoots him in the shoulder, and then drops the shot further, shoots him in the stomach, drops the shot further, tries to kneecap him. (laughs) And then with that last kneecap, it just uh, he shoots blood out of his mouth and falls to the ground. You hear from behind the desk, he'll heal from that. Might take a little while, but he will. If you're willing to, if you want more time with him, he looks behind him. I suggest we leave. He looks to the priest. It's a shame what the extreme religious folk will do to bring down perceived evils. Priest turned hitman? That'll make the news. She's gonna kind of stare down at Lawrence. Um, oh, 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 Jenny, I thought. But he can't uh, get the words out beyond that. Evil's a subjective term. We should go. You see Lucas uh, nod to the guy who brought him in. He scoops him up. I have a lot to talk to you about tonight. Okay. I'm excited to learn what you're all about. And he ushers, puts a hand on your back and brings you out through the front door. But instead of taking the stairs you took, he moves into a side office and Jenny disappears. We hear an explosion, a rumble. But Nero and Vic aren't sure what happened to them. Nero catches up to Vic and it takes a couple blocks, but eventually you snap him out of it. Behind you, sure. As they just behind you, we have a scene of billowing black smoke pouring up the sides of the glass building. I have one last request is like, maybe I get Vic in the van. I had left my drone kind of hovering. Um, Now that there are faster ways into the building, um, if Nero can steer Ada in, she will sacrifice Ada to shoot and blow up the leftover explosive to assure this building way up to the third floor with it. down. Please make me a yeah, drone, like, drone drive. Buzz it up. Check. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I can do that. Would you want like a wits tech or do you want to no take no penalty. Its flat so five? if wits tech is better for you, you're welcome to take a wits tech. Jenny not, wouldn't have put down her explosive. I will point that out too. She has it with oh, her. Oh, okay. She wouldn't know. Nero wouldn't know though. She might still make her way up the stairs. It's up to you. Yeah, I mean, if I see them going, my goal is to shoot the explosive. So if that means following Jenny and trying to shoot it out of her hand, or well, we'll um, yeah. that the goal is to we'll see take if you get. I just so. want uh, whatever your best role is on this. Intelligence tech, probably. Um, there would be no extra dice okay. for that one specifically. Would you like to reroll? Oh, three? that was a bad roll. I will. I'm gonna use my will. How many? Is that the rest of your will? So here's the thing. The driving is one thing and the shooting is another. Yep. So to shoot it, I get the yeah, flat Yeah, this five. is your driving um, for now. But to drive yeah, yeah. it, it's Oof. the three. So I take at least one more. So While you make three. your way up the stairs, you don't get up in time to get a look at Jenny and who she goes off with. But as you make your way into the big room, you do see the corpse of Vic, a hole blown out of his head. Oh, not Vic. I, no, uh, Father. McGinnis. Sorry, I don't mean Vic. Uh, Father McGinnis, a, a hole blown out the back of his head. Brain matter spattered everywhere amongst skull bits and a large pool of blood built underneath him. They're gone. But this building will be gone by night's end, too. Ada would make her way out, I imagine. Um, Actually, I think Ada's going to go straight to the server room and Absolutely. smash right into it to cause the explosion. Do you smash Ada that, in it? That, like, and explode Ada? 
Yeah. And then that's what we see. Yeah. Uh, anything that is left yeah. in this building, it's, I'm no, sorry, 100%. it's going down. And that does not take you effort. Your role is plenty fine to go down to the first floor. Ada sears through the, uh, the open doorway and maybe a, oh, a spray of bullets first, followed by, and you hear Ada beep and whirl before eventually a few sparks fly. Flames catch and a small explosion begins to spread through the server room. Nero, you lift yourself up from the vision that you had of Ada, and in the back, Vic sits with a bleeding leg. Oh, I take him to the hospital. Uh, straight there. Um, uh, you know, along the way. And as the car wheels away, pulling up to a hospital as fire trucks and ambulances whiz by, by our vision, and the, sim, uh, the civilians disperse from the mining company, we fade to black. Desperate measures crawls across the screen. And so ends our story. For now. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>